To make a very beautiful and minimal wire ring, all you need is a flush cutter, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, and of course wire that I'm using 18 gauge and this copper wire, but you could use brass one too. It's recommended to use brass or copper and the soft type, of course. As we have a hammered part, we need the hard hammer and let's get started with wire. Pick up 18 gauge wire and a piece of paper. Wrap it all around the finger that you are going to make the ring for. Unwrap it and this is one time length all around the finger. First, make the wire all straight and then put the paper one time, two time and half of it. It means two and a half times of all around your finger is needed. Then cut it out with flush cutter and pick up a ruler and determine the half of this whole length. Mine is 16 centimeters and the half is eight. Determine half centimeters at right and half at left. It means we need one centimeters just at the middle of this whole length of wire that I had marked it with a marker, of course. Now pick up your chain nose pliers and make two 90 degree bends at each side of this determined length. One at right and one at left. Just make two 90 degree bands on both sides. Of course, you could refine the lines and make them all straight with your chain nose pliers again. And when you're done making this rectangular shape, put it on the metal surface and then push it with the metal hammer so that you have a flattened surface just like this. You could do some additions with chain nose pliers steel and make the lines all straight. I'm using my jewelry file to remove the marker on the wire and of course to make it a little more shiny. I do that both for the inner and outer part. I think the lines on left and right are a little domed, so I push them with my finger so that they would be all straight. It's more like a triangle when you look at it at above. Then pick up your ring mandrel or any other cylindrical shapes that suits the size of your ring and wrap this structure you had just made all around the area that you had marked as your ring size. Don't wrap it completely and extract it at this step because we need to make a joint and we insert these two strands of wire into the rectangular shape and I'm doing this with round nose pliers and push them into this space. Then again put it onto the ring mandrel and this time wrap it completely and if needed use your chain nose pliers to make it all straight and push it a little more. Now let's try it on to check the size and if it's okay, insert it again onto the ring mandrel and we are going to make two little loops at the end of each strand. To make it easier, 
just wrap these two wires and make them concave. And we need just the space to make two little loops. So I cut the extra part out. For me, it's about half of a centimeters. And then with round nose pliers, make them all rounded. Just like when you're making a jump ring or a loop. And this would be the joint in this wire ring. Repeat this for the other side too, so that we would have this joint on right and left side. Again, check it out. If it's needed, make them all straight because this is a soft wire and it may lose its shape. So every time a while, you should check it out. That seems pretty good. Let's test it out. And that would be our very beautiful and minimal wire ring that you could wear it on in any direction that you desire. You could also decorate it with some beads or pearls as you desire or just leave it as minimal as it is. The bracelet that matches this wire ring is made as the same, just you could make a little more space at this side and make two clasps to open and close this cuff bracelet. I suppose that you could guess the process of making this cuff bracelet. If yes, just like this tutorial to tell me that you know the process well. And if you would like me to put the step-by-step -step tutorial of making this bracelet, just comment it below for me. Hope you had enjoyed. Take care.